Marilyn, oh, Marilyn, you came for prayer at the end of last year here in Kiwana. God, we come, come is the pain for the injuries from this accident. Yes. What were you suffering from? Kind of like the fibromyalgia symptoms, but from a car accident. Um, I had a severe injury to my right wrist. And um, how long ago was that accident? Three years. So had you been in pain all that time? Extreme pain, yes. But the pain, where was it in your body, apart from your arm? Uh, my arm was like it was always had a fire burning inside of it. The pain was always intense, but I developed, I have a, a neck injury, had a neck injury. Um, that gave me severe migraines. I was averaging two a fortnight, which would knock me out for three days. And I had bursitis in my left hip and shoulder and basically just couldn't move. I went from being the most organised housewife and mother to someone who just sat in a chair and couldn't do anything. Developed depression and anxiety as well. So that, that's all over those three years. And put on 40 kilos <gasps> in that time. Oh no. And just so from being immobile. And John prayed for you here in October last year. Yes. So that's what? Yes. Four and a half months. Okay. <laughs> and what happened to you? Uh, pain free. I, I'd sometimes get a little twinge in my wrist, which I just rebuke because yep. I'm not going to go back. Excellent. Um, I can put my neck out and feel the pain, but I don't get the I'm not incapacitated. We've bought a house five weeks ago, which we have gutted, <laughs> we're renovating. We pulled a retaining wall down yesterday. I lifted bricks and moved concrete bricks. Um, and so for three years you wouldn't have been able to do anything like that? You were just in and out of bed and That's it. headaches and yes. Pain. Driving a car to turn my head to look for traffic was enough to put me in bed for three days with a migraine. Oh. That's how bad my neck injury oh. was. And because of your miracle, you're friends with a lady in South Australia, which is where you're originally from. Yes. She came to our meeting only a I month rang ago. I straight away and said, you have to go. Because she was bedridden with fibromyalgia and she'd gotten to the point where she was using a scooter and a walking stick and just she, lived and she, in pain. And she was healed. And so she's here now she on the Sunshine Coast having yes, a holiday with yes, you. Yes, yes, And then she brought another, another friend, friend from South Australia <laughs> yes, and have. she's healed yes. also. As of today, yes. And also Ronnie's mother was healed in Minlerton she because she came well. also because of your testimony. She just on Monday got benign test results for thyroid tumours. And she's in the clear now. Yes. It's fantastic. Yes, it and you started at Marilyn by coming along. Oh, God. <laughs> God did it all. Right. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks for sharing Thank that. You. This bit. Now, Marilyn, just add it a little bit. Yes. One of the other things you asked for was John to pray for that weight you put on. Well, I was too embarrassed to ask oh, okay. about the weight. But God knew but what John your actually was. grabbed my hand and pulled me back and he said, and by the way, you will lose that weight, which I never mentioned to him that yeah. that was something that was important to me. And in the four and a half months since I have attended here, just through being mobile again, I haven't changed my eating habits. I've lost 13.3 kilos awesome. in four and a half months. Yeah. So getting more mobile by the day. Wonderful. Thanks, Marilyn. Thank you. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Yeah.